Hello, my name is Simon from Legends and I want to tell you something about the most picturesque spots in Bruges. Uh, tourist brochures call it the Bridge of Love, but that's not really true. Uh, we call it the Bonifacius Brug in Dutch, and that doesn't translate uh, to Bridge of Love. Now, a very ironic thing about that is that the Bridge of Love is actually, actually partly made out of recycled tombstones from the graveyard that used to be right next to the church. The bridge is also only 100 years old, um, and that's pretty young in Bruges terms. So what happened is, at the end of the 19th century, uh, the city realized that trade was never really going to go back to the way that it used to be in Bruges, but tourism, that may be the next big industry because a lot of tourists had been coming to the city and they didn't come here for the new stuff, they came here for the medieval heritage of the city. So when the city realized that, uh, they stopped destroying our old buildings because they had been doing that and they really started to preserve them and they also started adding a lot of things uh, later on that weren't originally here. This bridge is one of the prime examples. Uh, the whole Gothic revival that happened uh, in Europe is uh, one of those uh, best examples as well. You have a lot of neo-gothical uh, buildings in the city too. Um, and the very best example is all these cobblestone roads that you see all over the place. They weren't here in the Middle Ages, but in the 19th century we started adding a lot of them because we thought, well, this enhances this nice medieval Disneyland appearance that we have going on for ourselves uh, right now. So that's why I usually don't say that Bruges is a medieval city per se, uh, but for me it's a romantic ode to the Middle Ages. We took what was already here, preserved that very well, but then a lot of things were added here later on as a bit of a nostalgic throwback uh, to uh, the Middle Ages. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share and you can always leave a donation for the guide. There'll be more videos on our YouTube channel, so subscribe and stay tuned.